Hi, in this specific video, you're going to learn how to increase your conversions by appealing to these three groups of people. So conversions is the key and you need to have conversions in the place so that you can easily convert people into buyers, into subscribers and so forth. And you can use this method that I'm about to teach you in your videos, on your website, or any other media platform where it involves you talking directly to an audience. Let's talk about groups of people. Most websites only appeal to one group and usually whatever the website owner is in. Unfortunately, when we create websites, when we create videos and so forth and, and messages, a lot of times we think from our own view. So we forget about the other people that we need to appeal to. And it's all going to make sense in just a few minutes. As small businesses, you really don't have a lot of room for error, especially when you're competing against bigger companies. So you've got to appeal to all groups. Now let's take a look at the different groups of people. And this is from top to bottom. And the reason why I put it from top to bottom is because the people at the top, you've got to appeal to quicker. And the people in the middle and the bottom usually are willing to stick around and find more information about the product or service. So that's why it's in order. The first group are salespeople. They want to know quickly what your product or service is all about and the benefits. And I'm going to actually dive deeper in just a minute on these specific groups. And then we got thinkers. Thinkers usually are driven by statistics, facts, uh, FAQ, questions, reviews, and so forth. Basically content. And then we've got the opportunists, the creative minds, the marketing minds. And these types of people want to see some multi-uses of your product or service. In other words, different opportunities of where your product or service can be used. Like nice looking sites, for example, for appealing to the design. And, and they enjoy networking and social media and so forth. So let's talk about group number one, salespeople. Now, when I say salespeople... I don't mean necessarily that you're a salesperson. What I mean by that is that you are driven by, you know, emotions and stuff like that. You get really excited about stuff. You want to know about it quick, but you could easily turn the other way, you know, within a few seconds. So usually these types of people want the information that they seek really really fast and they tend to move around fast so you got to capture their attention quickly or otherwise you're going to risk losing them so you've got to answer the question how does your product benefit them what are the end results how does it work and social media and networking and so forth group number two these are the thinkers they usually do a lot of research. They're very analytical, systematic, and they want to do a lot of research about you and your competitors. They thrive on information, facts, reviews, ratings, industry licenses, and stuff like that. So they want to know about your company and more of them are critical. But the good thing is they tend to leave reviews if you make them happy. And organization of content is very important because you want to make sure that they're able to find your content quickly and easily. So whether you do a website, whether you do a video, make sure that you're, what you're trying to express in your message is clear, straightforward, to the point, and has good content. And social media is good as well. Then we've got group number three, the opportunists or the creative minds. These types of people, first and foremost, are visual and emotion. So visual and emotion is more important than information and facts. 
Not that information and facts are not crucial and important, but they usually think about visually, does the site look nice? Does the video look nice? Does it really make me happy? And things like that. And then after they're happy, then they start usually using information and facts to back up their emotions. The layout and the organization of your site is also very important. They're going to ask, what's in it for me? Now, the other ones are going to ask the same thing, but this type of group will focus more on the what's in it for me. How can your service help me? What are different ways your service can help me? So in other words, how many opportunities surround your product or service and so forth. If they see that one of their friends likes your fan page, that is seen as a big plus. So let's talk about application here. What I want you to do is figure out who is your primary group, the salespeople, the thinkers, or the creative opportunists. Figure that out and then try to focus on them, but make sure that in the end you focus on three of the groups of people. Then what I want you to do is create a list of top 10 questions like an FAQ, create a top 10 list of benefits, create a list of top 10 different ways your product could be used. So as you can see here, you got different groups within this strategy itself. You want to gather reviews and testimonials. This is great for thinkers. And testimonials, if somebody sees that their friend gave a testimonial or somebody that they respect, that's a plus too. And also you want to use social media. Not only does it create a presence for you, if you say, for example, you have a website and you have one of those widget boxes where you have a Facebook fan page box that shows people that, oh, their friends like this Facebook fan page as well. So I'm going to join too. So you can get a networking environment uh, within your website uh, going. And also, of course, last but not least, upgrade your graphics and organize your site content so it's user friendly and the content is easily accessible. So if you do this as a website, then great. This really, really works with a website. If you create a video, then you don't have to do all of this stuff. You can just do something like answer a few questions, talk about the benefits, and maybe one of each of these, and maybe some testimonials. So with videos, you're a little bit more limited with time, so you want to pick and choose and figure out who your primary group is, and then appeal to the rest of the other two at the same time. So if you implement these strategies, you're definitely gonna increase your conversions a lot higher.